Well, topping business tonight, there has been a mixed initial response so far by some investors to government's Barbados dollar debt exchange offer to creditors. That's according to Vice President and Country Head for Royal Fidelity Barbados, Gillian Nunes. She made the comment as a popular financial services company held a special investor forum at the Hilton Barbados. The event, which attracted a large crowd of participants, was held under the theme, Proceed with Caution, Investing in Uncertain Times. It is still early in this exercise. Most of our clients have only just received official correspondence this week, uh, in the last day or so, and are still digesting it. We do know a few things about the debt exchange. It is an exchange of existing debt for new instruments of equal face value, but with lower interest rates and varying tenants depending on the category of investor. And while that seems pretty straightforward, um, and there is, I guess, a sense of relief that there's no haircut on principle, um, it is still a loss for our bondholders. But the country had then sought to break down the numbers to explain the impact by giving some scenarios. An individual, for example, who is reliant on interest income of 7%, now has to adjust a rate of 1% in the first instance, moving up to 3.75%. Similarly, a bank or an insurance company will have, likely have to adjust fees and rates to reflect the reduction in interest income. And just sticking with the example of a pensioner, someone who retires today and goes to purchase an annuity from an insurance company will be buying an annuity based on reduced rates, ultimately earning him a lower monthly pension than his counterpart who purchased an annuity of the same dollar value just a month ago. The Barbados Private Sector Association, or BPSA, has announced the election of a new chairman to replace businessman Charles Herbert, who resigned after being charged with drug offences a few months ago. Executive Vice President and General Manager Barbados of Sagicor Life Incorporated, Edward Clark, is the new chairman of the association's board of directors with immediate effect. Prior to his election as chairman, he led the business of the Barbados Private Sector Association following the voluntary resignation of Mr. Herbert. Mr. Clark also served in the capacity as a president of the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry. In accepting his appointment as chairman, Mr. Clark said his objective is to build on the foundation of strong advocacy and lobbying by the previous heads of the BPSA on behalf of the private sector. Now, as chairman, Mr. Clark will lead the umbrella body of private sector associations in Barbados, both at the national level and within the social partnership of Barbados. Meanwhile, with Mr. Clark taking up the new role as head of the BPSA, the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry, or BCCI, has had to make some changes of its own. The Chamber has announced that with effect from today, General Manager of Saul Barbados, Ezra Prescott, has been appointed as the new president of the BCCI. Mr. Prescott replaces Mr. Clark, who officially resigned from the post of the BCCI president, to assume the chairmanship of the BPSA. Mr. Prescott has been a member of the Council of the BCCI since 2012. Additionally, the Chamber has announced that Managing Director of Unicomer Barbados Limited, Tricia Tannis, has now been appointed to the post of Senior Vice President of the Chamber, the post previously held by Mr. Prescott. President Prescott, on assuming office, thanked Mr. Clark for his contribution to the Barbados Chamber and reaffirmed his commitment to ensuring that the Chamber remains the trusted voice of the local business community. Get started with Jamaica where JMMB Group Limited 7.50% was the volume leader with 5,971,000 units at $1.07 each and they were followed by Carreras Limited and Wasinko Group Limited. Now over in Trinidad and Tobago, Sagicor Financial Corporation Limited was the volume leader with 50,000 shares changing hands for a value of $385,360 and they were followed by NCB Financial Group Limited and Scotiabank Trinidad and Tobago Limited. And right here in Barbados, Epley Caribbean Property Fund SCC Development Fund was the volume leader, trading 100,000 shares at 23 cents each and they were followed by Banks Holdings Limited.